Today we're unboxing this box from the Japan Pavilion. Alright guys, we got this box here from the Japan Pavilion. When we go to Disney, um, well not always, but this last time when we went uh, in December, we didn't expect to be buying that much stuff and we were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we were very bad. <laughs> yeah, we got over to Mitsukoshi and kind of went nuts. Um, so we didn't have enough room for everything. We ended up having to set, have all our Christmas, or Christmas ornaments and decorations shipped back and all the Mitsukoshi stuff. Pauline somehow ninja <laughs> everything else into our luggage, but, uh... Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the zip code. Oh, yeah. Zip code. Do you, would you like the zip code story? I'm sure you would. <laughs> We would have had this stuff about a week ago, but when Pauline gave our address on the Mitsukoshi form, she, for some reason, I don't know why, she's lived in this house for two years, uh, gave them the wrong zip code for our address. So they shipped it out and it got sent back to them. It got Whoops. sent back to them. So, no, they didn't ship it out. They, uh, they, verified, they verified it and it was wrong. But still, it was like a whole thing, like getting a hold of each other. And I don't know, it's just like the Disney magic. I forgot my zip code. I forgot what day it was, where I That's was. That's not how that works. It's not <laughs> how that works. It's not a good excuse. So we went and got a bunch of stuff. We got some snacks, both sweet and savory. And we got some sushi stuff because Pauline and I are both sushi lovers. Yeah. Um, so. So we'll maybe like snack and show off some of our merch at the same time. So there's a lot of stuff in this yeah. box. It's going to be a snack and show. Yeah. So we got some savory stuff and some sweet stuff, and then we got some merch. Yeah. So, so I just want to preface this. We went up to a cast member in the Japan Pavilion and asked her what her favorite items were and what she recommended. And she was very thorough. She showed me all of the things that were her favorite. And then she also showed me the things that were popular. So we kind of got a combination of both. So this is a like butter, I don't know, it looks like they're bu flavored butter potato snack sticks. Should be interesting. So this is the first item that we're gonna try. And all the snacks are like decently reasonably priced. This was $3. So. Drinks are reasonably priced. <laughs> right. They literally look like a little like french potato fry. french fry thing. Mmm. Tastes like nothing. No. Kind of tastes like those crispy fries that like over crisped. Some people like those, the burnt fries. Mmm. I see what you're talking about. How it tastes like nothing. Now we're gonna do my personal favorite. I picked them out myself. The little Hello Kitty strawberry marshmallows. That's a lie. I picked these out. They look so fun. These have strawberry jelly inside. Wow. Wow. Look, look. <gasps> One time we were walking somewhere and someone said that. And so now we say it all the time. I do. <laughs> oh, they. S oh, it's very strawberry. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a field of dead strawberries in there. No, it's a field of lush ripened strawberries. They're lush strawberries. They're yeah. all drunk. <laughs> oh wow, they're so squishy. They really are. Hmm. Hmm. As I advertised, strawberry marshmallows with strawberry jelly inside. They're good. It doesn't taste very artificial, which I appreciate. Because hmm. sometimes some of these sort of treats can get the, the fruit flavors can just taste gross and like more medicine-like, this does not. Hmm. I would recommend getting those if you're in the Japan Pavilion. Hmm. Do you like them? You're never ever gonna get me to say that I like <laughs> anything Hello Kitty related on camera. However, I didn't think they were disgusting. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do is these Japanese rice crackers. I think this brand does like crab ones, but they didn't have them available, so. How do they smell? Weird. How do they smell? <laughs> so 
is what I deal with every day, people. Every day. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, these are mine. What is this like? There's something out there that this is like, and I can't think of it. The thing that's in Chex Mix. Oh, it does taste like that, but that's not what I was thinking of. You know, the rye bread, the white one, it tastes just like the white rye. Mm -hmm. Tastes like the sesame chip. That's what I meant. White rye, sesame. <laughs> not alike in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> These are really good. Those will be staying with me. No, I picked them out. They're coming with me. <laughs> so we did some snacking. Now we're going to show. We got a bunch of chopsticks. So I will just say in general, the chopsticks range from like $4 to like $20 a, a Some set. Some of them are more expensive. So my pair has like this blue, almost Epcot ball design. And most of the chopstick is like a wooden uh, look, but it's actually more like a plastic. Chop, chop. <laughs> so I'm not gonna take this pair out of the plastic because I bought it for my buddy Blake as his uh, Christmas present, but uh, he is a sushi um, freak. Aficionado. No, he's just a freak for sushi. <laughs> he's, I'm pretty sure he has a suit that's covered in a similar pattern than this. As you can see, it's got the sushi pattern. Um, he's gonna love it. Just a nice little fun gift for him. We don't normally exchange Christmas presents, but I saw it and I thought, hey, that's got Blake written all over it, why not? I got three sets as well. So these have a ancient Japanese warrior on them. These have like a, a traditional Japanese art style, like Mount Fuji representation on them. And these are just nice green jade ones. Um, those are definitely my favorite pair. So time for more snacks. We're gonna try these Koalas March next. It looks like they're filled with chocolate banana. Fun. Got all different Koalas on the bag. I think they're like a graham cracker. Yeah. Oh wow, they smell very banana. Wow, they really do. And then they have like a little koala printed. Mine's a little girl koala. She's adorable. Here's Phil's little cowboy koala. Mmm. I like those a lot. Chocolate's very dense and firm in there. Mm -hmm. Really good. Those don't suck. I would get, they had all different flavors of these too. I will say, so guys, one of my absolute favorite things to get at Cheesecake Factory is the banana cheesecake with hot fudge on top. Tastes just like that, so good. Next up these things. <laughs> I really don't know what they are. The only reason I got these is because she recommended them. She said one side is kind of salty and the other side sweet. So that should be yummy. Oh, and they're kind of like wrapped up in a pack of two. So you could kind of like take them to go. Maybe one sweet and the other ones. Maybe. No, she said side. Like this side doesn't have any frosting and the other side has like a frosting. It tastes like the hint of an idea of something. It's it's a rice cracker, but it has this flavor that I know, but I can't remember what it is. It's like chicken bouillon, sort of. Mm -hmm. Like some saltiness, sort of. And like an icing for some reason, sort of. Crush it's up. It's good though, crush, I like it. Crush up some chicken bouillon. <laughs> some frosted flakes. <laughs> some salt. Pour some water in there and make little cakes and bake them. This that's, is it. That's what this is. It's good though. Do you like it? I don't know. <laughs> it's either really good or I don't like it at all. <laughs> but I have no idea. I. Inconclusive. I like them. So in addition to the chopsticks, I also got some other sushi eating uh, paraphernalia. And the first thing is my chopstick rest. It's this little jade dragon. Between bites, it's, you know, uh, you can put, if you need to put down your chopsticks, you can just put this on the end that you grab the piece of sushi with and just rest them up on his back and he'll keep them nice and clean for you. <laughs> Good job, dragon. Yeah, and then I also got a soy sauce dish. And there's a dragonfly inside it. It's indestructible, apparently, because I just dropped it, and it's fine. So next up, we have... Uh, 
more rice crackers. So here are the rice crackers. We got these ones look more fun because they're like orange and there's this like little happy king. These ones, we'll see what they taste like. Every rice cracker might taste different. It says it has happy powder on it, so. <laughs> it literally says that. It does, it literally says it's sprinkled with happy powder. <laughs> Individually wrapped, very classy. <laughs> They're like wouldn't want candies. the happy powder getting all over the inside of the bag. <laughs> there is no powder whatsoever on this. <laughs> I'm so confused by this. What are these supposed to taste like? It's like sweet and really salty at the same time. These and then nothing. These rice crackers don't know what they want to be when they grow up. This one is more salty. The other one has a more more dimension of flavors. Also, the other one has a little more like softness to it. These ones are very crisp. They were almost too hard. They were literally the exact no. same texture. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. What do you want to do next? Both. All right, Pocky, and we got the almond crunch, which. The cast member said was her absolute favorite. So it comes in like two little bags. These look good. I've never had Pocky before, but I feel like they're, they have them at Wegmans. You can have like a little sword fight with these. Just get out of here. That's good. It's weird, but it's good. It's kind of like a chocolate covered pretzel. The part that would be the pretzel is a lot softer. It's not like a chocolate covered pretzel. It's like a chocolate covered, like soft breadstick, basically. Yeah, it's a breadstick. It's okay. You could skip the Pocky. Yeah. Maybe get a different flavor. They had like strawberry, which I thought was fun. A box. It's a box <laughs> with a rubber band. Mm. Ooh. What do you think's in the box? Another box. So mm -hmm. this is the reason we didn't have a choice but to send this box home. Yeah, that's true. They wouldn't even let me touch it. They were really worried that I was gonna go on a rampage in Epcot. <laughs> He's really mad, mad about the Magical Express. So here's the reason that we weren't allowed to leave with our stuff. It's a little letter opener. So here is the letter opener. It's black and gold and white and a little bit of yellow. And you can open it up like a little sword. And there's your letter opener. So they don't let you even try to hold this you have to ship it home but there it is phil got one can you just imagine me walking through epcot menacing people with this tiny little mm -hmm. leg i'll open you like a ladder if they have figment hats on so next up we have doriaki which is a pancake with red bean paste Yay, which I'm sounds gonna... gross i'm excited about these they look so fun look at how happy this like i don't know what is he a cat a dog he's like a blue cat guy yeah He's so excited to eat his pancake, and I am too. It also has his face on the pancake, the little guy. Ooh, collectible sticker. One in 20 designs. Let's see what we get. It says translation gummy. Eat this gummy and understand any language. That's the sticker. This is the sticker. Yes, I'm as confused as you are. Anyways, it only comes with three of these pancakes, but they're they're kind of large. I feel like they're filled with this red bean paste. Yeah, I'm I feel excited. like there's going to be a lot of red bean paste in here. I think this is like a seal. Oh, maybe he's not. Bottoms up. Wow, it literally is a pancake. You don't like it? It's not a great pancake, but it's actually a pancake, which is very odd. Oh my god, it's bad. The aftertaste is worse rice crackers to the rescue yeah i don't mind this at all it's not great like i would get those strawberry marshmallows a hundred times over if someone wanted to try this i'd have it but i wouldn't go out of my way to get it again super unique though because packaged pancakes it's gross what is don't do it that? it's gross it's, it's gross so the next thing we have these eight little peach rice cakes so these are kind of like ma uh what are they mochi yeah seems like yeah excited to have these peach 
fun flavor. I feel like they had fun flavors of like everything. <laughs> it's so squishy. It is squishy. It's fun when the treats are squishy. They really are. Wah, wah. <laughs> are you ready? It's an interesting cross section. So there's like some marshmallow looking stuff in there. Yeah. And then what appears to be red bean paste. Mm -mm. That's the peach filling. Peach flavor is subtle, not crazy peach flavor. I don't know, it's more about the texture, like the chewiness and the the gelatinness of it. Yeah. I love the texture. I love the texture. It's a fun little snack, but the flavor is weird. Yeah, but they had like 20 different flavors, so maybe yeah. we could try another flavor next time. The best thing we got for sure was the... Uh, Koala's March little chocolate filled graham crackers. Yeah, I don't know. I'm between that and the strawberry marshmallow Hello Kitty. Mm. But the sheer winner, I think, for the savory are those other, what are they called? Rice cakes. They're all rice cakes. They are. The Japanese rice crackers, these are the sheer winner right here of the savory. And then these and the koala. Also really good. Comment below, have you had any of these treats? And maybe you've had a different treat from the Japan Pavilion that we need to try. I feel like this was fun. I would totally get a bunch of Japan snacks and send them home. It was like getting a little Japanese box. So thanks for tuning in guys. We always appreciate it. Make sure to check out the Facebook group if you haven't already. See you real soon. Peace, Peace love, love, and quadrini. quadrini.